baby for you to ghost me that shit hurt me but it's cool though it's cool though we're gonna get to that part we're gonna get to that part hey guys it's your girl Saria Rain if you're new to my channel welcome if you are not welcome back so as you see from today's title this is gonna be a story time on how to ghost me Swear that she can get it Say if you a bad bitch Put your hands up This story time is funny Slick But slick not like It goes deeper Deeper, 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 deeper into things Like If I had my old phone Y'all would literally see I would literally put in every single Piece of evidence that I have But I'ma still try to do that I'ma go I'ma try to find them uh, See if I can find them But I don't know if I can or not. I'm cold, sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to do too much rambling with Zoo. Go ahead and get to this video, alright? So, if y'all know this video, I was dating Billy in that video, okay? When I left the high school that I was going with, with Billy, I ended up going to another school, which I mentioned in that video. When I came to this school, I had one friend there. His name was Isaiah. or well, still my friend, I guess. His name was Isaiah, and I was with him, like, the first week of school or whatever. And I seen this boy named John, Okay? I seen John. John was the cutest boy in the whole freaking school, like, in my opinion, at the time, because I didn't really see nobody else. But I was like, I asked Isaiah, I said, oh, who's that? He said, oh, that's John. And I didn't think too much of it. That was that. That was that. And Isaiah was like, oh, they seem to look alike. He was telling me a little bit. And that was it. So I never, ever, ever talked to John when I was at that high school, the first year, because I was there my 11th grade year. Well, really 10th and 12th, because I really didn't have my 11th grade year. But 10th and 12th grade, 11th and 12th grade, I was at that school. So in April 11, 2019, John had slid up on my Snapchat because I guess we had Snapchat together. He slid up on it and put a dead emoji on this post. Okay? Okay. All right. So that was that. He just slid up on my post. I was like, oh, he slid up on my post. Cool. I know who this is and I'm watching on Snapchat because I had people on Snapchat. I didn't know what they look like. So I seen him and I was like, oh, okay. This is John. I got John on Snapchat. All right. Cool. So then this boy named Meek, Meek had a kickback at his house and I was still fairly new like this is when I started to actually get out or whatever so I went to his kickback and John sent me the address on snapchat as well so we were just having a little baby conversation little baby conversation and so at the kickback I seen John this is where it all fuck started this is where it all motherfuckers started this just reminded me so I was at this kickback and there was a whole bunch of boys and I was new and I had to go to whatever I don't know what the case was but everybody was cool we was chilling and John was seeing my feet and then he was like, oh, you had dogs out, da 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 It was having a little small conversation yet again, but actually in person, now on Snapchat. And, yeah, that was just, that was in May, I believe. That was in May. Okay, so I'm going to just guess on this next part how we actually got to talking. I believe it was on a spam. Instagram spams, I believe it was on the spam. I think he posted, I think. John posted a post, because I wanted John, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, he was cute, so, he posted something on Instagram, like, text me or something like that, and I commented on it, and then we got to talking in the DMs, so we was texting in the DMs on our spams, not mains and all like that, and we're just speaking, speaking, and I think we exchanged numbers, and then we got on FaceTime, because when I look on Snapchat, it's literally us sending freaking pictures back and forth, like, you on the phone, how you just be sending stuff while you on the phone, and this is June and July. Okay, so let's get into the juicy, juicy part. Me and him was texting, and we planned to go on a date. Or well, he told me he wanted to take me to get ice cream or, or something like that. Mind y'all, we was vibing in, in my eyes. Apparently, I don't know what the fuck. But we was vibing. We was telling each other about uh, stuff, sad stuff. How, um, damn, this making me cold. Like, what the fuck? We was just really talking about regular stuff I, I didn't and it was so like what's the word smooth like it wasn't like awkward nothing. like everything was going with the flow like we was like you see me I see you we in the same page we had the same vibe or so I thought so we went on our first date July 4th 2019 and this is how it went so I never ever went on a date before with a boy coming to pick me up from my house okay this was the first boy that came to pick me up from my house i think so i had to ask my parents of course because i was still living with them and i was like 16 16 15 16 17 16 and so i asked him i was like hey i got this friend named john he wants to take me up to go get some ice cream and my dad ended up saying yeah so john came 
July 4th, 2019. Walked in, you know, and they was talking, they was asking, da da da. And then we went to Brewster's, we took a get ice cream. So, coming into this relationship, everything was cool, like I said. So, we were just vibing, listening to music. <laughs> I was just with this in the clip. So, we took this picture, y'all, the first freaking, first freaking day. But it wasn't really nothing. <laughs> what the <no> fuck? <laughs> just watching, you know, can't show y'all because it's face in it. But we ended up kissing. Like, y'all, we was chilling. We was chilling. And I told him everything about Billy. I told him everything about Billy. What happened with Billy? Why did fuck with Billy like that? What Billy did to me? How bad Billy hurt me? And Billy knew about John because I told Billy I'm bagged John. And then Billy had said bag him and I bagged him. And then Billy got mad. Okay? Oh my god, I'm missing a whole freaking part. I'm missing a whole freaking part. No! Scratch back to when we was texting on the spams, okay? I'm sorry, guys. When we was texting on the spams, we had went to Six Flags with uh, Meek and hella people. Me and Mariah. I don't know if Ayana came. Meek. We all went to Six Flags. Six Flags! That's what it was. So we went to Six Flags. Babu still cool. We didn't even like, like each other at that point. I liked him. But I was taking videos of him without him knowing and all that. So that's where it really started. We was riding on rides next to each other. And that's how I really started to like him. Because I was like, oh, I like his vibe. Like how he is. He cool. He chill. He funny. He's cute. So I was like, yep. So after this last, that's when we started talking on the phone and doing all the other stuff, I think. So back to now. July 4th. We went on that day. Everything was cool. Then we went to the park. Yeah, I think after Brewster's, Bruce, we got we sat in the car and we was just chilling and talking and listening to music and laughing, okay? So then, boom. We go back home. da 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 and we went out again July 10th. Y'all, we hanged out so freaking much. Like, baby, for you to ghost me? That shit hurt me. But it's cool, though. It's cool, though. We're going to get to that part. We're going to get to that part. <laughs> These videos are funny. Putting that in there, too. All right? So just chilling, y'all. Getting to know each other. Not going on expensive dates or nothing like that. I think we was out all day that day. And we tried to go to, go to Corral, but I don't think that I, that I got it. I don't think I wanted that. I don't even really remember what happened. So then he came to my house again. July 15th. But we didn't go inside. We were just chilling uh, at my neighbor's house in the garage. Skating. We were skating. Like, we were... Them, that shit funny to me. <laughs> so boom, I really really liked him. I think he really really liked me. I had messages of everything on my old phone. Like we was just chilling. Like, it was good. I don't understand it. So the day before school started, which was like August third or August first or something, or 20, 2019. Mind you, we want to be talking for like a month at this point. A month, bitch. A month, bitch. A month, bitch. And I like really liked him in a month because y'all just got to understand. It was just really good, okay? Mm -hmm. To me. I don't know what the fuck happened, but August 2nd or something like that, me and him went to the movies. And he was starting to throw me off. Like, like y'all know, he was throwing me off. Like, the shit, I was like, mm-mm, I don't like this. Uh-uh, throw me off type shit. And... Yeah, that shit was weird, like, but I'm cool, I'm cool with him, so I can't really say too much, because he's gonna do too much. Y'all gonna see, y'all gonna see, this video is so freaking funny, like, you have to watch it. You went to the movies, and then after the movies, we went to the park again. I can't even lie, y'all. Really, really bad. Okay? And so, the, the, the first day of school was the next day, so we had the first day of school, and... Um, I was with my boyfriend because we was dating at this point. I don't remember what day we started dating, but we was dating, I think. Yeah. So, we went to school, chilling. Everybody, I don't think everybody knew about us. I don't think nobody knew yet. Or some people knew. I don't know, actually. And I was with him chilling. And he was acting funny. Like, acting weird. And I was like, I didn't do, I didn't say nothing. Because I was recording him on my phone and he wasn't interacting with my fucking video like he usually do. So, I was like, mmm. Okay, and then it gets deeper like we was getting on the phone and then he was acting weird on the phone He wouldn't call he wouldn't text me back and I was like why are you acting so weird? Like, why are you acting like that? 
So one day I was taking a bath. I remember this day. I was taking a bath. And I texted him. And I was like, I think we should just stop. Because I'm not getting good vibes from you no more. I think we should stop talking. And I do that because I be I be wanting to see if the boy going to be like, oh, wow, why you say that? Da, da, da. But this nigga said... Yeah, you right. I'm not really feeling the vibes. It's like you don't like me. I'm just like, no, it's like you don't like me. The fuck? So we broke up that day. We broke up that day when I was in the tub and I got real mad. I was like, wow, what the fuck? And then like a few hours later or the next day, he texted me and said, I'm sorry. That was some real weak shit I was talking yesterday. We need to stay together. Da, 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 da. And I was like, okay, cool. Toxic. That's, that's how relationships get toxic, by the way. And so we ended up talking again. But then I try to call him, text him. It was like the same shit. I'm like, you're not even trying. You're not even trying to do nothing. Like, what the fuck? So I sent him a whole fucking video, videos of me on Snapchat. And everything. Because I told this boy everything that happened with me and Billy. And how I don't want to do certain stuff. How I'm scared to talk to somebody again. And all this shit. And guess what the fuck he did? Like, I actually trusted him. Anyways, I sent him a whole bunch of videos on Snapchat explaining my whole fucking heart to him. He was telling me he was going to call me because he talked to his grandma. Because I wanted to know why he was acting like that. Like, So I sent him videos because I wanted to talk about it right then and there. The fuck? Why would I wait? So I told him, I was like, I feel like you're doing this. I told you everything about me. You know, everything that happened. And why are you acting weird towards me now? Which was like a week later since the first day of school. And so... That shit rubbed me wrong, alright? So, I do dual, well, I was doing dual, dual enrollment, so I would get out of school every day at 11 and go to class at a college at Southern Crescent. And he would not be texting me. And I remember specifically one day, I was driving home. Well, me and Mariah was driving home. He texted me this long ass paragraph because he didn't text me all day. And I sent him a whole bunch of shit. Like, I was crying. I cried at Southern Crescent in front of Mariah. She was laughing at me. <laughs> everything like it might be a whole ass video of her recording me and I told him I'm always be there for you don't know what's wrong with you I wasn't even really mad at him like I wasn't even like bitching about shit so he was like alright thanks like dry shit and then later on he sent me a paragraph saying I talked to my best friend telling that I just need to stop um, hurting you and tell you keeping it in the book with you that I just don't feel it I just don't know what's wrong with me it's not you it's me like that shit Saying all this shit, and I was just like, why? Like, what the fuck? This shit's crazy. It's crazy, y'all. It's like that nigga flipped the switch, like, dead ass, turned the light off, and his ass just started acting a whole different way. And so I got mad, because I'm like, okay, fuck that shit. It's over with. I'm mad. I'm sad. Everything. Fuck this nigga. I told him everything. Never tell a little nigga nothing. All this shit, right? So, boom. Pissed. I get the, uh, going on... Social media. I don't remember if I had my new spam or my old spam. Pretty sure it's my my old spam. I don't have my old spam no more. But yeah, so in my head, I'm like, this nigga stop fucking with me for what? And the whole relationship, I used to be like, oh nigga, you gay? Like he do some real gay shit. I ain't even gonna cap. Like I was looking at him off. Like, I was like, I'm sussed while we was dating. So I'm like, oh hell no, nah, that nigga gay. He left me for a nigga. That's what the fuck happened. He left me for a nigga. So I'm telling my friends, they already knew he was gay. Well, I think he gay. I was telling them that already from the jump, like from the beginning of the race. I'm like, he does this stuff, he does worship like this, he do this, he do this. Hey, that's so good, gay. So that topped the icing on the cake when I need to decide he wanted to stop texting, stop fucking me. That shit is ghosting in my book, okay, John? Ah. Anyways, when I started making them spam posts, I was being very shady. Hella shit, like, I said, oh, you must be gay. I don't know what I, exactly that happened, how he found out that I was calling him gay and shit. I think I was telling people at school. And he was like, oh, you call me gay? It started going off on me like a motherfucking pee, 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 pee. So that's what made me even add more icing on the cake. I'm like, this nigga is calling me a bitch. Shit, ho, slut, bitch, stupid, disrespecting. Like how bitches argue on, on the internet. That's what it was. We was going back and forth on the spams. And so, it was on my spam. He wasn't in my spam anymore. And this girl, he was cool with. I guess ain't fuck with me. She screenshotted my post and sent it to him or show him in class, something like that. And then, John was going in on my ass. Like, he started doing way too much. He was going at me. He was telling me, like, I bite, like I'm ugly or something. I'm like, bye-bye. He was saying, like, you bite. I remember that. I don't know if he said that. 
he was just saying so much shit. Like, he said, I'm desperate. I don't know what he was saying, actually. Some shit in that book. And so, I went up to the girl in school. And I don't remember what I said, but she had me pissed. I was pissed. I actually would. I really, really wanted to fight her in that, in that moment. But she didn't, she didn't swing on me. She didn't say much. So, I said, fuck that shit, whatever. Fuck that shit, whatever. She ain't trying to fight. Fuck it. Okay, fuck it. I told her what I felt. I told her she'd be in a messy ass. And that's period. That's all. That shit didn't add nothing better between me and John, okay? He was like, oh, you coming at da-da-da, oh, you you bored, or or saying you don't want that. Like, nigga, obviously I don't want it that the fuck. If I didn't want something, I wouldn't have said nothing. So these motherfuckers trying to bitch me out my shit. Like, I, like I'm just some serious girl, some shit. And I was just like, okay, John. <laughs> okay. Okay, Mr. Sweet Ass. Okay. So, y'all, we was just arguing. And I think, like, if I had my other phone, I could show y'all all of this shit. Because I had all of the screenshots. Like, I'm going to look at my Google Photos and see if I can find some. And then I started clowning him on Snapchat. I didn't fuck with him no more. He ain't fuck with me. I, I ended up starting to hate him. Like, I started having um, sleep paralysis because of that. Because that nigga. Like, I had, I felt like demons watching me. So, I was like, oh, hell no. That nigga is evil. That nigga is associated with the evil Keep me away from that shit. I ain't even want him no more. I ain't want none of that shit. And I was crying for like two days straight. Two or three days straight after he sent me that message when I was at Southern Crescent. Okay, so all his friends knew about what I was doing, what me and um, John was going through. So I posted something on my spam and said, friend groups over five people. Best believe people kicking fake shit. It's just facts. Please don't at me. If you have a friend group over five, these friends will no longer be friends. They and I think I was talking about the girl. I don't know. And so one of his friends commented and said, Mine was solid, then you fucked it up. And I'm just like, what the fuck? So then I DM'd him. And he said, I was talking about the, the Meek situation, but I was playing when I said you messed it up. Meek messed it up for real, but oh well. I said, Ellen, yo, how did he mess it up? He said, this boy had a crush on you when he knew... Meek had a crush on me when he knew how John felt about me. He said the whole situation hockey weird, which I knew nothing about this. I said hella. And so the boy had said, but just let Meek do him. I said, I said like everything about it. And so the boy said, cause John used to give Meek rides and shit. He low-key snaked him, but shit, hope he wouldn't snake me. And I was like, John ain't real either, so shit. But yeah, I'm not doing anything with him because I ain't like that. Even though John don't fuck with me or whatever, it's just not in my character to do no shit like that. I guess because Meek was trying to mess with me or some shit. I said, but words of advice, don't be surprised if he does snake you. People wake up every day with a different mindset because that nigga def most definitely snaked me and the nigga most definitely was talking shit about his friends. Okay? Okay. And so the boy said, maybe he ain't, but he better not cross me with my eyes is open to it. I know for a fact blank won't cross me. That's why that's my closest friend. But when I sit back and think about how Meek doing John, it got me thinking. So a whole situation is going on between them that I don't know shit about. Oh, so John ended up blocking me because I called him gay and all that sort of shit. Also, an important thing that I left out is that I literally deleted his whole Instagram. So that's also a reason why he blocked me. So yeah. <laughs> oh, and when I deleted his Instagram, I kind of wanted him to feel like he was crazy. So I was just playing with him at this point. Shalaya is texting him. And so John was like, make sure she know that you brought it up and make sure she know that I don't, that it don't mean I don't want to fuck with her because I don't. And so y'all see the rest. And I was just like, all right, bitch, fuck you. Next. But y'all, the story is not even nowhere near done. It's not nowhere near done. He claimed me on his first love. <laughs> oh my God, what the fuck? We was just done with it. I was hurt and I was the end of it. I ended up hating him. It was over. He hated me. Seeing each other at school, nothing. Not a, not a thing. And then like later on in the year, we got cool. Like, I don't really remember how. I think... Oh, this rec this past summer, we actually got cooler. And so, we ended up talking on the phone again. And we talked about the situation. He told me he was going through stuff. That's what happened. But then I started talking shit. He actually was planning on getting back with me. Whole bunch of whole lot of that wasn't said then. And so, we just got cool again. Like, he was on live. And I joined the live. And he was like, oh, that's my baby. Da -da -da. That's why I 
think I texted him in the summertime. Because I was like, oh, hell no, nigga. You ghost to me, but now I'm saying it. So I ended up talking to him. And then we found out that we moved to the same neighborhood. And it was just, just, everything just cool. Like, that's how it is now. Like, just cool. See him sometime. Nothing extra. We passed it. It's old. The camera just died. But yeah, everything is always over with. It's just crazy to me how everything happened and how he tasted it. me talking about. Like telling me everything that happened back then. He was basically explaining, saying like it just got bad. He was stressed. I don't know. Then it was cool. Then we had graduation. See him at graduation. Nothing. Like we were just now everything's cool. I ain't mad. I ain't stressing no more. I'm not hurt no more. I was for a very long time. Cause I actually like opened up and trusted this person, you know? So it's cool. You live and you learn. John, I'm gonna be with you. Me, I'm gonna be with you. Other boy, I'm gonna be with you. Now, in the story, I don't gotta be with nobody next story because I just don't care no more. It's over with. And we chilling. We all cool. So, that's the story time of how I got ghosted. It's crazy to me. Like, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, hand, no turkey. Niggas will flip, flip that switch on you real quick. And then become right, right, right. Become back real quick. But yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. If you want to see some more content, let me know down below. Thank you for watching, and peace. If I forgot anything, I might leave it in later, but I don't know. Bye.